Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Natural gas has greatly impacted our lives, from cooking to running commercial processes like smelting plants. Natural gas, however, needs to be transported, and it is done so in liquefied form in special tankers. But what happens in the billion dollar shipyard building the world's largest liquefied natural gas, LNG tankers? Today, LNG carrier vessels have evolved into various specialized kinds, each built to meet specific operational requirements. MOS-type LNG carriers, distinguished by their spherical storage tanks, provide strong endurance and a distinctive appearance. Membrane-type carriers, which use a thin membrane supported by the vessel's structure, optimize storage capacity and are often used on long-distance routes. Floating storage and regasification units, FSRUs, serve a dual purpose. Transport LNG and convert it back into gas upon arrival, allowing for faster supply chain integration. QFlex and QMAX boats, among the largest LNG carriers, are engineered for efficiency and low emissions meeting the growing need for cleaner energy. Each type is critical to the global LNG supply chain's safety and efficiency. Floating liquefied natural gas, FLNG tankers, are a marvel of naval engineering, built to extract, process, and liquefy natural gas at sea. Construction of these massive structures is a precise and demanding operation. For example, Shell's Prelude FLNG project demonstrates the size and complexity required to bring such vessels to life. The building process begins with assembling gas plant modules ashore, which are then precisely lifted onto the massive hull of the vessel. With the final module in place, emphasis moves to complex activities, such as connecting 3,000 piping lines and pulling 450 kilometers of wiring. The liquefaction module, at the center of the operation, entails putting together a sophisticated refrigerant loop. The top sides alone have 60,000 pairs of flanges, each needing faultless production. This complicated system ensures that the FLNG ship can efficiently process and store large amounts of LNG at sea. The Prelude Floating Liquefied Natural Gas FLNG project created by Shell reached a critical milestone as it left the Samsung Heavy Industries shipyard in Goji, South Korea. The gigantic structure began its 5,800-kilometer journey to its operational location off the coast of Australia. When Prelude arrived, it was hooked up and commissioned which is an important step in testing that all systems work properly. When fully operational, Prelude will harvest, liquefy, and store natural gas directly at sea, greatly increasing the supply of cleaner energy. This pioneering deployment exemplifies advances in offshore energy technology 
and aims to address the world's growing need for natural gas. LNG tanker operations are essential for transporting liquefied natural gas around the world. These specialist vessels are outfitted with cutting-edge technology to ensure LNG handling is both safe and efficient. For example, Shell's Prelude, a floating LNG facility off the coast of northwestern Australia, shows the intricacy and scope of these operations. Prelude cools natural gas to negative 162 degrees Celsius, transforming it into a liquid form for easier transportation. The project generates more than 3.5 million tons of LNG each year, enough to feed a city the size of Hong Kong. This whole system cannot function effectively without good ships, and these vessels are as good as their captains. The life of a ship captain on an LNG carrier is both challenging and rewarding, requiring a combination of technical knowledge and interpersonal skills. An ideal captain prioritizes safety, assuring the safe voyage of the vessel and its important cargo. Effective communication is essential, as the captain must analyze and synthesize incoming information while maintaining a collaborative rather than dictatorial environment. Daily rounds on deck allow the captain to interact with crew members, demonstrating an interest in their job and creating a positive environment. Balancing life at sea and family life can be difficult, yet moments of seclusion and unique adventures shared with loved ones can be quite rewarding. Since these ships never stop working, maintenance is essential. Underway LNG cargo maintenance is crucial to maintaining the safe and efficient transit of liquefied natural gas worldwide. On highly complex vessels such as the Asia Excellence, this process requires great attention to both mechanical and cargo conditioning. Each ship normally has multiple cargo tanks that store around 160,000 cubic meters of LNG. Operations continue around the clock, with every piece of machinery being examined at regular intervals to ensure peak performance. The LNG cargo must be constantly monitored to ensure that it stays within the set parameters, highlighting the necessity of reliability. The crew, which includes varied teams from the engine room and deck, works together to maintain safety standards and operational performance. What follows next is the transfer process. The LNG transfer process is a highly planned and technological procedure that ensures the safe and efficient transportation of liquefied natural gas from one vessel to another. For example, when a 162,000 cubic meter LNG carrier like the Goler Glacier arrives at an approved LNG ship-to-ship -ship STS transfer site, it frequently collaborates with a floating storage unit, FSU, like the 137,500 cubic meter ISH. First, 
the FSU is towed and moored beside the LNG carrier. Preparation work then begins, which includes connecting specialized hoses from the FSU to the LNG carrier's manifolds. Typically, a 10-inch LNG vapor flexible hose is raised and connected first, followed by a 10-inch flexible liquid hose. Once the hoses are connected, the tanks enter a cooling period, in which the temperature is gradually reduced in preparation for the transfer of LNG. This phase is critical for stabilizing the system and preventing thermal shock. As more hoses are attached, LNG can begin to flow from the carrier to the storage unit and vice versa. Throughout the process, sustainability and safety are prioritized. Construction of an LNG facility such as the Philippines LNG, PH LNG import terminal, is a difficult and large-scale undertaking. As of March 15, 2023, PH LNG, the Philippines' first LNG import terminal, has a 5 MTPA capacity and is the world's first modular LNG terminal. Key components include a modularized e-house and field auxiliary room, FAR for up to 2.5 megawatt power plants, utilities such as compressed air and nitrogen, and massive concrete piles for pipe crossings. A ground flare, fire water pond, FWP, control room, warehouse, firehouse, administrative building, desalination pump and marine infrastructures such as mooring dolphins, marine loading arms, breasting dolphins, and jetty constructions are all necessary structures. LNG tanks are massive, and raising one is quite an undertaking. The roof raising of a giant LNG dome tank is a meticulously planned engineering accomplishment. The tank's roof is constructed at ground level to ensure safety and precision. After the roof is finished, air pressure is gradually increased within the tank effectively lifting the roof to its final position at the top of its walls. This strategy reduces the risks involved with operating at heights and provides for improved quality control. The entire operation is methodically planned and executed, necessitating collaboration between engineers, construction workers, and safety personnel. Before use, the tank has to be thoroughly tested. Testing an LNG tank such as those used in Bechtel's Queensland Curtis LNG project, requires thorough integrity inspections. The tanks, which stand 48 meters high and have an interior diameter of 79 meters, undergo rigorous testing. Initially, the tanks are filled with 94 million liters of test water to ensure structural integrity, which takes 144 hours. Once tested, they are emptied and cleaned with 80,000 gallons of washdown water, which takes another 144 hours.
Natural gas is one of the better energy options after crude oil. Building LNG tankers and storage facilities is expensive, but pays off in the long run. And as technology develops, handling LNG is expected to become even more efficient. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.